Now, um, before I start, let me tell you guys a story. So, when the new $1 billion Viking Stadium opens up in Minneapolis this year, it will be known as the most sustainable stadium in the history of humankind. It's marvelous design, it's just breathtaking, let's be honest. But the park, the $22 million park that was meant to supplement its message, has never really caught up. Our mission is to solve that problem, and many more. At Sun Sculpture, we believe that the park in the very heart of Minneapolis deserves the best sustainable technology and design. <coughs> I am very proud to be working with this team for the past year. This is An, Lise, and Deng. Now, An, please take it away. Thank you, Aslan. When inventing the Macintosh, Steve Jobs wanted to put a dent in the universe. We hear to dent the universe once more. We believe that green energy is the only way to keep the world moving forward. My team and I came around the conviction that humans should complement nature as much as nature complements us. And some sculpture tells that story. We have taken the best elements from the greatest sculptures of the 21st centuries. And today, we are opening a new chapter in the outdoor furniture industry. Today, I am very proud to announce SmartBench, a new way to engage with your community. Every SmartBench has solar panels and Microsoft Cortana AI, giving you a voice-controlled access to emergency services mass transit scheduling and weather reports, among many other features. These are the seats. Every, every uh, smart bench is a fully interactive device. Imagine being able to have fast wireless internet, um, green electric plugs, and our global network, all while outside. Now, Dan, please tell us a bit more. Apart from the smart bench, we have also designed the Sunshine Tree, which is a beautiful 35 feet tall sculpture designed exclusively for educational institutions. As you can see, the tree has eight circular solar panels that will track the sun's movement throughout the day and collect its energy. The leaves will be outfitted with LED lightning, lighting that will shine up at night using the tree's self-produced power. Now let's look at the roots. The roots will form multiple benches and chairs, making the tree a gathering place for the community. Our goal is to bring classrooms outside and create a space for free thinkers, rebels, and idea makers. <laughs> now, Anne will tell you about the market opportunity. So, our products are designed to take on two major trends in the market. We're taking on the outdoor furniture market of $7.6 billion. So far, there's only two companies in the world that produce the solar energies that meet this demand. Due to this lack of competition, we're confident that if we enter the market now, there will be a very high potential for growth. The outdoor furniture market has yet to enter the information age. Due to its present lack of advanced technologies, we are early adapters to this market. We are the Tesla of outdoor furniture. <laughs> we believe that our products will be in high demand in the very near future. The global installation of solar energy has increased by over 50% over the past decade. In addition, U.S. colleges have increased their green energy capacity by 450% just in the past three years. There has never been a better time to enter the market than right now. <laughs> So to sum it up, two trends. Fast growing smart outdoor furniture. High demand for renewable energy. Note to some, as fast. fast. <laughs> and now Liz is gonna tell you more about the marketing strategy. Our line of products will give competitive advantage to real estate developers, educational institutions, medium to large size businesses, cities and parks. We plan to reach out to our customers through multiple channels. Our primary focus will be promoting our product at ecological and real estate development expos such as NYC Network Group. For educational institutions, we plan to market to environmentally conscious student leader groups, alumni, and board members. And as you all know, millennials and General X are shown to prefer using environmentally conscious products 
so we believe they'll join and contribute to our movement towards sustainability. Finally, through social media marketing, we'll be able to connect and create a conversation with our customers. This interactive platform will put customers at the core of our development stages. We'll also use media such as Google AdWords, YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn as a direct and inexpensive way to reach out to our customer base. Dan. We plan to price the Sunshine Tree at $34,900 and the Smart Band at an affordable $3,400. With this, we believe that by the end of 2020, our gross profit can reach, by, can reach at least $600,000. Our startup has always been and will be looking for additional funding sources. In November 2015, the Sunshine Tree was awarded $500 in seed money by Gustavus as an investment. Using this amount of money, we computerized our model and worked on the software. In 2014, I emailed Satya Novella the day he became CEO at Microsoft. Personally, I couldn't believe when I got a response the day back. He got me in touch with Lisa, who was their business development ma uh, manager, and uh, we had a meeting. It was really good. Microsoft promised us their software as soon as we reach a certain development stage. The other thing that I'm extremely proud about is Adina Stelas coach. She has been our chief design officer since our very inception. She's an amazing, famous American sculptor and I am looking forward to this team succeeding in the future. In summary, Sun Sculpture seeks to revolutionize the market by infusing art, renewable energy, and technology into outdoor furniture. In addition to providing productive working and learning spaces, our products will bring communities together and will bring people together and strengthen communities. Thank you, judges. We'd also like to thank the people who helped us get here, so thank you, Russ, Marta, Ed, Kathy Tunheim and Bob Maha. But also, also a shout out to the EM department for organizing such a great event. The best time to invest in sun sculpture is right now. The, best, the second best time is today at 5.15. <laughs> primarily, I would say, an art company. Because what we do is we uh, build beautiful outdoor benches. Um, these things do not exist now. We'd like to bring people outdoors. We'd like to have people make a place where people can come, sit down, and enjoy. So, you know, you can take the thing and bring it outside on our bench, plug it in, have fast internet, as well as all these other features that we bring to you. Yeah, you may want to consider just having the plug in Because everyone else already has fast internet. I love the idea that you was fond right away. Uh, just cost addition to simply just capturing energy and allowing people to plug in and charge it might be a simpler way to to get the market back. Uh, we believe that it's very important for us to uh, focus on sustainability because uh, what we do inherently is we send out a message to the world and uh, you know telling people that sustainable future is the only future is something that really matters to us and it's at our very core of our business. We see a huge demand in the uh, outdoor furniture market of uh, $7.6 billion. And right now that market is very antique and saturated. So we believe that our eyes products will bring something fresh air into the market and we'll be able to take off. Any other questions? So um, I'm intrigued by the idea a lot and I think there's a lot of um, potential in it. Um, as I think about the price point, I, I don't imagine an individual. I imagine, like you said, a city or a, a municipal park or like the one that you opened up with. And I think it's important to look at what's the purchasing process um, for places like that and um, how who buys and when they buy and what kinds of things that they ask when they buy. Google AdWords and stuff like that is not what's going to catch, catch those folks. That's not where they're going to come So, um, but. Um, based on my experience in that space, one of the critical questions that I think you'll need to address is who provides the ongoing support and maintenance for it. So the sun panels go down, the internet goes down, 
and it needs to be fixed, what's that, um, what's the cost structure for that ongoing support? Um, okay, so uh, the first thing that uh, we thought about when we designed the smart bench was actually uh, what you said, and this is why we're focusing towards real estate developers. Our smart bench is designed in a way which lets every developer uh, meet with our artists and actually work on the design for their own uh, for their own uh, structure, building, uh, whatever they're doing. So we believe that's what's going to attract uh, a lot of architects into the game. A, uh, B, maintenance. Um, our sun sculpture. Uh, the way the way we started in the first place was actually around around uh, thinking about what can we do about maintenance and using modern technology in our computers and modern software. Our sculptures are actually able to report every time there's a problem to which we will be able to respond or train people who we train on site, like technicians, as uh, everything's built around Microsoft and their core platform. Um, it's actually pretty easy to fix.